I write horrible code until I realized this. At my first job, I was inspired by how fast my seniors code. So I tried to match them. One day, a bug appeared in the code that I wrote blazingly fast. I asked two of my seniors to review it. They didn't say anything, but their faces said everything. They were confused. My code was unreadable. From that day on, I owe I will write code that anyone can understand instantly. I spent so much time trying to understand what makes a code readable and maintainable. I watch hundreds of hours of Primogen, Code Aesthetics, I am Tim Corey, Mike is Rittel, everybody. I learned about design systems, FP, OP, and so many other concepts. Now, you might wonder if my code will turn out great after this. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Okay, one day, my partner checked my code and then he told me that the code that I wrote was hard to read. Then I stopped. I realized I tried too hard, so I need to change my mindset. I will make my code as shallow and as simple as possible. Okay. Several weeks passed by and apparently I got laid off. Yeah, no problem. Now I am unemployed. At least I have lots of free time. So I spent so much time learning to code again. I learned Golang, software architecture, dependency injection, modular, versus layered, web security, everything. Now, I have better understanding of code. Additionally, I have digestive problem and have lost 5 kilos. After all the struggle, I created a list, a good code checklist. There are several uh, points there. Shallow, simple, loosely coupled, fast, secure, and localized. Doesn't matter the language, doesn't matter OOP or FP. I will talk about this list on other video. This will be a longer talk. Okay, after five months unemployed, I got a new, better job. My digestion got better and I regained five kilos that I lost. Yeah, that's my story of struggle. I'm not saying I code perfectly now, but it is objectively better. And yeah, thanks for listening. I believe some of you guys have similar stories. Share it in the comment section. If you like this video, like and subscribe. So, see you on the next one.